you're an astronaut. Uh, when did, I don't know, sorry, <laughs> it's alarm. Wanna, I lost my words. My name is Chell Lindgren. I'm a NASA astronaut. I joined the astronaut office in 2009. We've never met an astronaut before. So <laughs> yeah, this is the first time my hands are sweating. We're just normal people with uh, amazing jobs. When did you go to space? So I went to space in 2015. I launched on a Soyuz rocket out of Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan in July of 2015 and then returned back to the Earth in December of 2015 after having spent 141 days in space. What's the training really like? The training is amazing and I think that many folks will tell you it is the second best job in the world to, to actually getting to fly. We mm. spend two years learning the basics of, of being prepared to fly and so that includes robotic arm operation, space station systems, how to do a spacewalk, uh, flying in the T-38 jet as a space flight readiness trainer, and then finally learning the Russian language. And once you've been assigned to a mission, it begins another one and a half to two years of training for that specific mission. We heard you were in a very long spacewalk. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about your experience there? I got actually to do two spacewalks during my mission. Both of my spacewalks were over seven hours. They are an unforgettable experience. The opportunity to go outside, to wear that very iconic spacesuit, to see the Earth and the outside of the space station, to do technically complex work outside, to do it successfully, and then to get back inside safely. It's something I'll never forget. I heard the spacesuit was like, 300 pounds? <laughs> 300 pounds, and of course, we don't sense that weight in space, but it's pressurized, and so every movement is against this pressurized suit. Mm -hmm. and, and so just grabbing something or activating uh, one of our tethers, every time you move that glove is kind of like using one of those hand exercisers, mm -hmm. those grip exercisers. And so mm -hmm. uh, to sustain yourself over six, seven hours during a spacewalk uh, requires, of course, training before and during the mission. What is like a work week like in like the space station? We wake up at about six o'clock in the morning and you have to take care of morning hygiene and eat breakfast and then kind of look, look ahead at what the rest of the day is gonna hold. Mm -hmm. We have a morning conference at seven o'clock in which we speak with each of the different mission controls and then we start working. And we will work until about seven, 7.30 at night. And we spend an hour doing uh, resistive exercise and about 30 to 45 minutes doing aerobic exercise. But the rest of that time is really dedicated to work. What do you do on the weekends? So the weekends belong to us for the most part. We still ah. have to exercise every day. Uh, we have to do about four hours of house cleaning. Uh, our house four cleaning. hours? <laughs> yeah, on Saturdays. But beyond that, the days belong to us. And so that's a great time to talk with friends on the phone and then really just to look outside the window. So did you have a specific mission when you were out there in space? So I was a part of Expedition 44 and 45. The overarching interest in our mission really had to do with the one-year mission that Scott Kelly was on. That one-year mission, I think, will really uh, help to inform our future exploration. Was it weird coming back after all of that? It felt right. It felt like the bookend of uh, an amazing experience. That uh, re-entry process is one of my favorite experiences. Just It's uh, very dynamic. The very end of it when we hit the Earth is a little bit like being in a car accident, but it means that you're home. For me, we landed at night in the middle of a blizzard, so when they opened the hatch, you could smell and feel that cold air come through, and it was absolutely amazing. It meant that we were home. What was it like like physically coming back? Did you feel like heavy? Gravity's kind of a bummer, actually, <laughs> after you've been floating around. Uh, to feel gravity again, it feels unnatural at first almost and it takes a while to get used to it. So immediately after landing, I don't think any of us would have been able to stand up. In fact, it's just kind of a, a rewiring of the brain to be able to react to gravity again. For me, it took about 30 days before I felt like I was back to normal. If I were like talking to someone who like wants to, is like aspiring to be an astronaut, uh, what kind of like education and training would they need to have to like even get started? Really, we are looking for the best and brightest in the STEM, the STEM field. So science, technology, um, engineering and math. The advice that I give to folks that are interested is just to find your talent, follow your passion, because that is the domain, that's the discipline where you're going to be successful. 